my freedom moneyers. Good morning, my darlings. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you did, saw the two lives I did yesterday talking about how to open up an investment account. I talked to you about Vanguard, Schwab, Fidelity. I have both Vanguard and Fidelity. I use Fidelity more often. I really like Fidelity a lot. And uh, I walked you through the whole process. So hopefully that information you want to know, you can do it. Again, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I am not a certified financial advisor. I just have always loved finances. Um, I've always been financially savvy. Our family crossed a financial milestone last year. I am working on a book called My Freedom Money because I want to teach people. I want to show people um, how they can also get their freedom money. Let me just say freedom money is not free money. It's not money you can go somewhere and get or apply for. Freedom money is you coming up with a plan to number one, get out of debt, live way below your means, save, invest, and have money to uh, live the life you want to have and to leave an inheritance for your children's children. That's freedom money. Okay. So I will be teaching you or sharing with you, um, how I was able to get to this financial milestone that my family and I have been. Most of you know, I had a baby at 16. I was on welfare. I was on food stamps. Almost 30 years later with my husband, of course, we crossed this financial milestone. Okay. So what do you want to invest in? In before we talk about that, be sure to subscribe, share this out, send this video, send my channel to all of your family and friends. They come listen to this girl talking about freedom, money, and money. Okay, so Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of all time, says I 98% or most people who are investing only need to invest in low expense index funds. I'm going to come back and talk about index funds, mutual funds, and ETFs, okay? He also said in a few years a letter to his few years ago in a letter to his shareholders that he told his managers that when he dies, his wife's money must go into low expense index funds. That is what you need. That's all you need. That's what Warren Buffett believes. And so most people who are investing, you don't need to invest in individual stocks, okay? I know one person asks about what are winning stocks. I'm going to come back and talk about the Magnificent Seven. But um, if you are not educated on investment and stocks and so on, it is probably best for you just to stick to index funds, which is what I did for years. You know, both my husband and I, we invested in our 401k and 457. I've always wanted to invest in individual stocks. I've always wanted to have a more hands-on control in my investments. And so during COVID, I sat my ass down and I learned. I learned ticker symbols. I learned the differences between mutual fund index funds. I learned, I learned, I read, I read, I learned, I studied, I wrote, I took notes, I listened to people. Because if I'm going to do this, I want to be able to understand what I'm doing. I don't want to lose my, my family's money. Yes, I understand that the stock market go up and down, but I also understand that you can lose money just by putting some money in because you don't understand what you're doing, okay? So Warren Buffett mentioned in his letter that his wife's money, when he dies, should he sh they should go into low expense index funds, okay? And so Vanguard is the number one index fund uh, holder. And so VU is the S&P 500 ETF. OK, when you watch the news, they said the market is up, the market is down. Oh, you guys weren't seeing that. OK, when you hear they say the market is up, the market is down. They're talking about the S&P 500. 
What is the S&P 500? The S&P 500 is America's 500 biggest or largest companies. So when they say the market is up and down, this is what they're talking about. A few things you need to look on when you are invested is, of course, how much is it? VU is currently $479.60. I remember when it was $320. So in about a year or two years, it's been up. The S&P 500 usually returns on average 10%. It's usually higher or lower, but the average is 10%. Right here, you will see the management style is an index fund. It, the asset class is domestic stock. So that means it is only America's 500 companies. But when we come back and talk about VTI, we're going to see that there are some of these companies that are overseas, like Pepsi and Coke, okay? The expense ratio right here is extremely important because this is how much... Uh, they charge for us to hold their uh, this um, this stock, and it's th three uh, three percent, okay, for a year. So it's three percent on every on every one thousand. It's is it three dollars or thirty cents? I think it's three dollars or thirty cents to every ten thousand. I gotta get those numbers right. Those numbers kind of confuse me. Um, okay. And so these are the things you need to look at. So this expense ratio is extremely important because some of them have 1% and that means they are charging you 1% for $10,000. So if you have $10,000, they're charging you $1,000. So you don't want to do that. So this is why, uh, uh, Warren Buffett says low expense index fund. Okay. This is an ETF, which is similar to index fund. Vanguard have uh, index fund VXAIX, and that's $3,000 to get in. Don't nobody have no $3,000 to, 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 to get in. That's why we start. Personally, I love ETFs. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the difference between ETFs, mutual funds, and index funds. Okay, but I know some of you guys want to know what to invest in. Okay. Scroll down, we're going to look at the holdings. This is very important because when I show you the other, the other uh, funds, you will see that they're very similar. And so the sectors, what are the sectors that make up the S&P 500 communication services? And it, it, it gives you the, the, the percentage. Consumer directory, consumer staples, energy, finances, healthcare, industry, information, technology, materials, real estate, utilities. So when you invest, in VU, these are all the the uh, the sectors you're investing in. Okay. Now let me let me say this because I forgot. What is the difference between index funds, ETF, and one stock? I'll give you an example. You only have fifty dollars to last you for a week to buy to eat. All you have for seven days is fifty dollars. Would you, number one, go to the Chinese food store? You know, black people, we love Chinese food, so don't act like you don't. Would you, number one, go to the Chinese restaurant and buy $50 worth of fried rice and chicken wings? Or would you go to the supermarket and buy $50 worth of groceries? Which one would you choose? I would choose the groceries. Because I can have mul I can buy multiple things, right? So an index fund or ETF, I'm using those words interchangeably, is going to the supermarket and you can buy all these different groceries versus a stock is one. So let's use fruits, for example. Let's use an apple. If you buy one apple, you only have one apple, but if you go buy 10 different types of fruits, you have 10 different types of fruits to choose from. That's the difference between a stock and an ETF. An ETF or an index fund is a basket of stocks or a basket of groceries or a basket of fruits versus a stock is one. Do you understand? Let's do it again. An apple. Would you prefer to buy one apple? Or would you prefer to buy a basket of fruits? 
That's the difference between one stock and ETF. And it might, your, your one Apple might last you. Like for those people who invested in Tesla, they did good. But there are other people that invested in other stock that it, they lost all their money. So the e, what the ETF does, it protects you and it shields you. Because if one of them don't work out, guess what? You have 500, you have 499 other ones. Okay. I'm going to talk more about that, but I just wanted to do this because some of you are asking. Now let's look at the top 10 holdings. Microsoft as seven, seven point, uh, 16 percent. Apple, NVIDIA, Amazon, Meta, Google, Berkshire Hathaway. That's Warren Buffett's company. Google, Eli Lilly, and Broadcom. Those are the top 10 holdings, and you can see the market value of how much is in these. And you can see the percentage of the fund. So again, VU is the S&P 500, America's five. It actually has 505, America's 500 largest companies. So what do you want to invest in? According to the expert, Warren Buffett, most people need to invest in uh, a low expense index fund. We're choosing ETF. ETF is the cheaper version, but it's the same thing, okay? I'm going to come back and I'm going to do another one. I want to make sure you understand. So you can take $1, $10, $50, $100, and you can invest that in VU. And by investing in VU, you are investing in 505 companies. Again, one apple, one stock versus a basket of fruits or Chinese food versus a basket of groceries. Okay, you have $50 for a week. It's going to last you one week. Are you going to go to the Chinese restaurant and buy some fried chicken wings and fried rice or go to the supermarket and buy different types of groceries that you could make several meals for a week? I'm going to go with the groceries. That's what an ETF or an index fund is. It's a basket of stocks that you can invest in. And, and it, 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 it protects you, it diversifies you versus, let's say, Tesla. Now, Tesla is not a good example because Tesla, people who invest in Tesla, they made a lot of money, but there are other people who invest in other investments that they lost all of their money. So starting out, if you want to invest, starting out, Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of all time, said, most people need to invest in a low expense ratio index funds, index fund, or for me, ETF. It's the same thing because I'm going to show you in another time a Vanguard index fund, VXA, VXIAX, I believe it's called. It's $3,000 to get in. We don't have $3,000, but you might, you with the ETF, you can start with $10. I'm not telling you to invest, okay? And I love ETF because they trade like stocks. You could buy in and out throughout the day, mutual funds, index funds. You, you buy in, but you don't see what you get until the end of the day. Let me know. Do you understand? Don't worry. We have a long time to get through this. The, tomorrow, I'm going to show you another another ETF, S&P 500 ETF, okay? I have about three or four I'm going to show you so you can pick and choose. If you don't have $479, if you want to do, you can start with $1, $10, but don't worry. There is one that's less, that's about $60 and you can invest in that. I invest in uh, VU in one of my accounts and in my husband and I, or a big accounts, I invest in VTI. I'll come back and tell you what VTI is. All right. Love you, my darlings. Talk to you later. Let me know what you think. Bye.